and five young boys shall a fertile lizard fly, and I shall live alone on Lizard Point. thinking of music when I'm working now. Um, I'm thinking of always of trying to create a sense of a place, but using uh, sound to do that, using only sound. So I'm, I'm always thinking in terms of um, if you were sitting somewhere and hearing this, what kind of place would this be? Um, how can I make it more of that place? How can I remove the elements from it that are stopping it from becoming fully that place? It's, so what, what I'm doing doesn't seem to be much connected with a musical tradition in the sense of um, orchestrations and rhythms and so on. I'm not, I'm not very interested in them really. Thank you. 
Can you um, make pieces of music where the, the various layers are not designed to be compatible with one another? They're not constructed in relation to one another, but you rely on the listener's perception to fix them together. And in fact, um, much of the on land record is like that. Lizard Point is an example um, where you have a series of separate events that all happen in their own time and their own space and with their own particular mood. And they're simply superimposed on top of one another. Um, so thank you very much uh, to the organizers as well for inviting me here and uh, I hope you can deal both with my inability to speak Italian and my jet lag. I don't think I can speak until you quieten down a little bit because I, I can't hear my voice very well because of the echo in the building. I know it's very hot and you, you're probably very uncomfortable, but you only have to listen. <laughs> um, don't translate. Um, let me tell you, this is <laughs> the inferno here. Please be quiet, this is actually very difficult. This is the closest thing to hell I've been in for some time. Please, just try and be quiet, it's, it's hard to talk. Your mind makes connections between things that aren't, or are not causally connected at all. I noticed this a lot when I was working with um, loops. I would set 16 tape recorders running, each with a loop a long loop on them, on it, um, and clusters of events would happen quite accidentally, you know, as the loops happen to coincide in different ways. Um, the interesting thing was that those clusters sounded so well orchestrated, you know, they, they sounded like they were really supposed to be that way. Um, this is one of the attractions of working with chance, that you know that your own perception is a strong enough organizer of patterns to find some kind of um, framework even if there isn't one there. Chance has its own sound, you know, and you can get tired of it. Um, if everything is equally unpredictable, then by the same token it's equally predictable. Uh, there, there aren't surprises in chance, really. I feel it. So I wonder if I should talk more about painting. I feel, I feel much more like a landscape painter now than anything else. I feel close to people like 
Cezanne and early Kandinsky when, when he was still in his semi-pictorial stage, like 1906. In fact, I feel very close to 1906 altogether. That's when a lot of the things I like best were done. Um, Cezanne's Mont Saint-Victoire pictures and the early Kandinsky landscapes. What's interesting about those pieces is that they are, they are poised on an edge of abstraction, which I enjoy very much. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Always first steps. I love that one. The idea being that whatever point you are at, you're always at the beginning of something. You're always just starting. So even when you're right at the end of a piece of work, it's just the beginning of something.